Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Caleb Dennison and today we're comparing the TCL 75 inch 6 series TV against a 75 inch Sony X950G. Is this even a fair fight? Well, by the numbers, absolutely not. And yet, here we are comparing these two TVs because you asked for it. I suppose it makes sense. When we unboxed the TCL, we were really surprised at how good it looked. So it made us think, well, maybe we do compare it to the Sony, which is way more expensive. All right, the picture quality stuff is coming. And yes, I know you can already tell the Sony is brighter. We'll get to that in a second. From an aesthetic point of view though, the Sony is a better looking TV overall, in my opinion. Hopefully it would be, since you're gonna wanna get what you pay for. Much thinner bezels, the stand is uh, real metal, but these feet are not reversible. So you're gonna need that much space if you're gonna stand mount it. And as far as thickness goes, hey, look, it's a full array backlit TV. It's gonna be a little bit on the uh, thicker side. The Sony may be sexier, but I've said it before, I'll say it again, the TCL is not bad considering the price. The 75 inch sells for under 1500 bucks. And one little bonus is that you can invert these feet so that they point inward, save you a little bit of space when you're putting it on a stand. When you're wall mounting it, it's gonna jut out a little bit from the wall because again, full array local dimming, it pops out quite a bit because it's about that thick. Here's what you're looking at in terms of the remote game. The Sony, obviously a much more traditional style remote. It got a facelift, but it's still big and it still has uh, lots of empty space here. You do get a Google Assistant button uh, because this is an Android TV, more on that in a second. And the uh, microphone's built in up top. You can also have the TV always listening if you don't wanna have to press the button, but for privacy, you can disable the uh, voice detection and just keep it to the Google Assistant button. The uh, Roku remote is a little different. Now we have the 75R615 here, so it's missing the voice button. Uh, you can use the Roku app if you want to for that off your phone or your tablet. But much smaller, more convenient remote. You still get hotkeys down here, uh, volume control and mute on the side, and that's about that. So Sony is an Android TV. Uh, if you watched our comparison between the Hisense and the TCL, you saw that we uh, really struggled to get through the menus very quickly. But Sony has developed a chip that processes Android TV just fine. So in terms of Android TV experience, this Sony offers the best that you can get right now. I reckon it's probably the same with the uh, A9G OLED and also the Z9F. The TCL on the other hand is a Roku TV. And if you're just learning about Roku TV, uh, that means that the Roku operating system is built in. Uh, your HDMI inputs, cable TV, Blu-ray, uh, even over the air antenna television, all lives right up here, just like any of the other apps that are available. Uh, the search is excellent. It shows you where you can watch stuff for free as well as rent it or buy it if you want to. Uh, I love this operating system, again, because I feel like anybody can use it. You can just sit down and figure it out. So even if you're not tech savvy, it's a really friendly smart TV interface and a great way to get into streaming television. First thing I wanna let you know is that we have slightly altered the camera's exposure for each TV so that it better visually represents what we see with our eyes. The Sony is much brighter than the TCL across the board and if we don't stop down a little bit, bright areas will appear washed out when in reality, they aren't. So with that out of the way, you can still see the Sony is brighter even in SDR mode and it's controlling halo around these boxes in the corner slightly better than the TCL, but not by a huge margin. It's hard for you to see this in the next two patterns, but the Sony and TCL are pretty well equally matched in the black level department. Despite having really bright boxes to eliminate, there are enough zones of local dimming to keep some decent blacks on both sets. The next pattern shows the Sony mapping grayscale well, with higher peak brightness in the center and not much clipping in SDR, which is what we would expect. The TCL seems to have less subtlety in the shades than the Sony here, and you can see the same in this next pattern, with the Sony offering higher peak brightness on the far right of the screen and showing a bit better low luminance distinction as well. Still, the TCL is hanging in there really well. Motion looks good on both of these in SDR, so there's really not a whole lot to see here. Uh, and then for color, both TVs look great in terms of accuracy, with the Sony looking more vivid, again, thanks to the higher brightness on comparable out-of-box TV settings. Now we move to HDR, all the same settings, where we expect to see much brighter whites and want to see how the shadier areas look. 
we're looking for a crushing of blacks. And that means that instead of showing a dark gray, the TV would just shove the signal all the way down to black. Crushing blacks is not a good thing, but almost all LED TVs do it in favor of good black levels. And here we see the Sony is even brighter than the TCL and halos are still mitigated, unless you go off axis and then you can really see the backlight bleeding and the screen turning kind of milky. With the checkerboard pattern, we see more of the same with the Sony getting brighter, but not sacrificing black levels in the black boxes too much. This next ramp pattern shows how the TVs differ in HDR, with the Sony and TCL both clipping pretty soon at the peak brightness level because they can only get so bright, but the Sony has more distinction leading up to the brightest area before washing everything out to bright white. The next pattern shows that even better. Once things get to a certain brightness level, the Sony just really juices things up, just like the TCL. And finally, one weird thing I noticed on this moving pattern is that the TCL has this weird vertical stripe that is like hopping around and flickering in the brighter section of each bar. I think this is just the local dimming trying to keep up. You don't see this having an effect in regular content. And as for color, the Sony looks awesome. Everything looks very accurate, just a bit brighter in HDR. Whereas with the TCL, we see it's a little hot in the reds and this magenta is really popping out. Test patterns are great, but they're only gonna get us so far in analyzing the TV. We can get really granular and point little tiny nitpicky things out, but real world performance is where it's at. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the Sony is lit. Like literally, it is lit up. I know a lot of people have been talking about how they scaled back the backlighting system and it's not as good as the uh, Z9D was and it's not really a great flagship 4K LED TV. I disagree. It's absolutely outstanding. Now you can tell where you're sitting right now that this TV is brighter than this TV. We can juice up the settings here if we want to and get them to a comparable brightness, but what you're seeing right now is out of the box cinema or movie mode for each one. And we didn't adjust anything else. And we've looked at contrast and color and motion resolution. And here's the takeaway. The Sony is outstanding. It is a superior looking TV this much more than the TCL. Uh, brighter, definitely. It pops. Uh, it's got more detail. The color is more accurate out of the box in general. But again, you're talking about a 75 inch TV that costs $3,300. The TCL, on the other hand, does almost as well as the Sony for less than half the price. And that's the story. Like at this point, you've seen the TCL in action. You've seen the Sony in action. When we're comparing the TVs, the only thing to say is you get 95% of the performance out of the TCL for less than half of the price. So the decision is yours. If you want the absolute best out of these two different options, I think the Sony gives it to you, but not enough to justify that kind of price difference. And that is gonna set us up for something exciting next year. Sony knows TCL is doing this. So the game is just gonna be lifted for everybody. And that is a very good thing. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit me up in the comments section if you still got some questions or you wanna see a particular TV reviewed. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with a new video. And hint, the Sony OLED's coming really soon. Here's two other videos we think you might like and of course visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.